Okay, you might already know that electricity is a flow of charge. So if I were to plug in um, a light bulb or without a switch into an electrical outlet, what's gonna happen is you're going to get the movement or the flow of electrons uh, up one wire into the, um, into the light bulb itself where the filaments inside of the light bulb heat up, causing the light bulb to glow and then the electrons return down the other wire back into the outlet. You get the cycle, this is called a circuit. All right, so as long as the circuit is intact, the charge can flow through the wires, up one wire, down the other wire, heating up the filament inside. If I disrupt this wire here by uh, breaking it, what will happen then is the electrons or the charges can no longer flow through the light bulb, and so the light bulb turns off, okay? So what we have is we have an apparatus in which we've interrupted uh, this uh, circuit right here and we have two prongs that have metal wires inside of them and then what we're going to do is we are going to add different substances across these two prongs to see if the charges can continue to flow through them. If the charges continue to flow through them then the light bulb will light up and the substance here conducts electricity. If the uh, substance does not conduct electricity the charges cannot flow through it and therefore the light bulb will stay off. All right, so we're gonna start off, we're gonna do a controlled experiment. In order to do that controlled experiment, we need to make sure that our water is pure. So what I'm doing right now is I'm filling up an Erlenmeyer flask with deionized water. That's about as pure as you can get with a reasonable price tag. So I'm just gonna fill it up all the way, and then we're gonna test and see what happens when we put uh, deionized water across those uh, those uh, probes. Just a little bit more and now we're going to bring this over and across into the lab. All right, we're going to take that deionized water, we're going to pour it into a beaker. And then we're going to take that beaker, we're going to lift it, and we're going to put it up against the probes and see if it conducts electricity. It does not. Okay, so moving on to our next thing. We're gonna try solid sugar. Just pour some solid sugar in a beaker until it gets high enough to touch those probes and we'll see if solid sugar can conduct electricity. All right, see, just pure sugar. Putting it up against the probes, oh, twilled my camera a little bit, and there we go. And as you can see, it does not conduct electricity. All right, so let's add that sugar to the deionized water. Let's see what happens when we mix the two. So I'm gonna take that sugar from the previous experiment and I'm going to add the deionized water from earlier. I'm going to stir it to try to dissolve as much of that sugar as possible. Took me a little bit, didn't even get quite all of it, but let's see. And it looks like it does not conduct either. All right, let's move on to salt. All right, so I'm going to take some granulated solid salt, and we'll see if that solid salt conducts electricity. Pour it just like you did the sugar into the beaker. Not too much, not too little. That's good enough. Hold it up to the probes. Try to get it to touch. And I'm not seeing anything. Does not conduct. All right, so let's try now to take that salt and dissolve it up in a little bit of water. Now, salt's really soluble in water, but um, I have quite a bit of salt and not a lot of time. If I would let it go a little bit longer, it'd probably dissolve all the way. I need to stir it, agitate it a little bit, so let's do that. All right, so I'm going to take this salt that has been dissolved reasonably well in water. And let's see what happens. Ah, it conducts. Look at that. So salt water conducts electricity. Hmm. Okay, so as a recap, the only thing that we tested was the salt water that conducted electricity. The regular water, the sugar, the salt, and the salt water did not. So let's check tap water straight out of the tap. Remember, before we had to use the pure deionized water? Well, let's see why I had to use that deionized water. So you see, if you take that tap water, it conducts electricity. Hmm, 
I wonder why that is.